Jim, we're a week and a half into pre-season now. Just give us an overview of how you feel it's gone so far. It's gone well, Greg. Um, we, you know, strategically planned it all um, quite deeply over the summer. Um, every day has been designed with everything in mind. That we, you know, for five, five and a half weeks time when, 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 when game. Well, it's not five and a half weeks anymore, but that five and a half week pre-season with game one in mind to be the best shape we can be come that game, know what we're doing come that game, um, make it difficult to, to play against as a team uh, as much as possible and also you know, try and hurt teams as much as possible. So it's all, it's nice to have actually had a pre-season. It's nice when I took the job previously, it was, you know, you're always behind, you're always catching up. It was game to game, frantic nature. Now it, it's, it's so different getting to design the squad plan the pre-season, plan the way we play with, with some depth, allow the players to you know learn some understanding of it before we, we go into the deep end and that's been really good. Um, I now realise why like the managers at the very top, they have all their players done, dusted almost over the summer. There might be one that joins them late but you know the very, very best to get it all done early um, and then they're in working. I, I, I recognise now the importance of a pre-season, having that that work time together to make yourself, you know, as bulletproof as possible for when the challenges come. And on those new signings that have come into the building already, how are they settling in? I'm really pleased. Yeah, um, they've they've dived into the group um, socially and tactically and work ethic perspective outside. They've been they've been excellent too. You know, I do. I am the type of manager that observes all things really in the environment. You know and even the smallest things, I think, matter the most. So, um, how they are socially, uh, you know, are they, are they tidy around the place? Are they picking up after themselves? Do they demand other standards for, from other pros to be tidy? All those things we're watching in the environment, and I'm really ha happy with the the ethics of the players that have come in. Um, culture was a big one that I'm going after, and I think it's really important that the guys that came in are. Um, holding the right values, treating each other the right way. Um, humility and honesty is something I keep going on about to the players and it was something that we spoke about today before we opened up today's meeting, before today's training actually. And I've been really, really pleased with, with the lads that have come in. Um, really, really pleased with the lads that they've joined also that are already here. And I'm, I'm happy with where we are right now, knowing that there's still more to be done. I know you spoke in the summer about trying to reconnect with the academy as well, reconnect with the, the first team with the academy. We've seen a few of the scholars training in the first week or so, and we've seen the, today and yesterday the whole youth team down here training a little bit at Platley as well. How important is that? It's been brilliant. It's felt like a proper training ground and a proper football club. It's it's Seeing it the last two days and how there's been a buzz about the place and how there's been integration between youth team and first team, They've been watching our session. I've been getting the opportunity to finish our, our our session and go and watch theirs. I've been interacting with the youth team coaches. Ideas are being bounced off each other. I've now got young pros, youth team players, learning how to be pros from the pros, learning how to be men from, from the men. Um, these are all the things that those young players were not having the opportunity to do. You can... You can't become something unless you can see it a lot of the time, and they could never see the pros. So they didn't know how to act, um, and you know there's been a, a number of instances already that we've been able to iron out just by us being together. Um, this, for me, is the way the football club needs to remain. It needs to stay, and one of the best parts about pre-season so far, genuinely, has been these last two days having both sides of the football club all here together, all under one roof, learning about each other, um, dipping in and out of each other's sessions. It's It's been amazing, there's been a great buzz about the place, um, the youth team staff integrating with the first team staff, collaborating on ideas, you know, becoming one club again. So the social um, event, um, Fixture release day I went to on Wednesday was brilliant, again, unifying the club. The, the, kit, the kit launch day, um, and the weekend that the guys went to was amazing. Um, me and Hendo were talking about, you know, we felt it was one of the, the best events in recent years that we've had in terms of the players mixing with the fans and sharing genuine thoughts with each other. There was a real buzz about the place. I was I was so, so happy after it. 
Um, you know, I barely moved from one spot. I had that many fans having conversations with me about the club, how much they love it, the things they're feeling. I was talking about the things I'm feeling. It's really important. That's exactly the same here with the youth setup. The youth setup and the first team setup should be side by side. Right now, as of the last two days, it has been that. We've been on one pitch, they've been on the next. I can cast my eye over both and I'm constantly having thoughts about how we integrate all that again and begin to benefit from the fruits of our youth system um, as we have done in the past. Now, it's possibly one of the most important things I've done at the club. It really, really is. Um, trying to win points for the first team is amazing. Trying to improve players is, is a privilege. But possibly, if we stick with it, bringing the youth team and the first team back together on one side could possibly be the best thing I've done in my time for the club. Um, certainly when I look back on whenever my time comes to an end, it, it could be one of the things that I'm most proud about. Could we expect to see a few of those faces in some upcoming friendlies, given obviously recruitment still ongoing first team wise as well? We definitely will. Um, on merit, some of them. Um, not because we're not because we haven't got players in that position yet. Some of them on merit. Some of them may be more a bit by default, but what a wonderful opportunity to be in the first team though, even if it is by default. Um, because you never know when you can impress and some of the players have done that. So we've had um six or seven with the players with us permanently full time from day one, every session, um, inside and outside, learning our ways. Now the benefit of having them all here with us now is when they begin to fatigue or dip like young players do and they should be allowed to, we can bring two more and send two back. And we've got that facility here now. So um the fans should definitely um, expect to see, certainly over the pre-season campaign, um, some of our some of our young players on offer with us in, in the games. Just on further recruitment as well, is that taking up most of your time when you're not on the training pitch? Too much of my time, to be honest. Um, again, I, I talked earlier, didn't I, about how the top, top clubs, they get so far ahead of it. They they, they know they want early, the, the deals are done early and the players in the building for pre-season. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to be in that place because we're in such a transition as a football club um, and, and stabilising all the roles as we've, as we've gone down, as we've changed management, as we're you know, trying to get new ownership for the football club and everything else. We, we're, we're, not, we're not in that position where we could have been ahead of it, but we're doing the best job we can with the time we've got. So there is a huge balance at the moment. It's so important for the for the players and for the young players that when I'm at this training round, I'm so present for them and like it's important about the right here, right now, how we're going to play. Commitment to every session, I've got to be on everything and on every one of them. Um, but then also, whatever hours are left in the day when when the training session finishes or when the players don't need me no more, it's it's recruitment. It's recruitment because we're not done in that department yet. There's still work to be done. Um, in and out um, and we're still working very hard on that and um, conversations on that front are, are still live right now Greg. How much are the players and the staff as well looking forward to the friendlies coming up and, and putting into practice what they've been doing in training? A lot, I feel like they are looking forward to it a lot. Um, the way I'm working, the way we're working is um, everything won't all be done in week one but we'll work on a certain aspect of the game for week one, a certain aspect of the game for week two. So there'll be things we're looking for at different stages in the pre-season schedule. Um, and there'll be things that we'll allow, if you like, in some of the early games, because we haven't quite worked on them yet. We've got a new group. We've got to, we've got to allow for that and make sure we're nailing the things that we have worked on, because we know how important they are. So it'll be very experimental. Um, obviously, it'll get more serious in, in with the latter games towards towards you know the day one kickoff in the league, um, but we we have to use this time while there's no points at stake to practice. Like these games are for practice, but you are practicing trying to win as well. Don't get me wrong. Like just don't get that twisted. Obviously, we're, we're here to try and win games, but we have to use pre-season games to practice. We have to use pre-season games for strategy. We have to use pre-season games for fitness. We have to use pre-season games for the young players to be with us and we have to accept that there's certain compromises in pre-season games that we wouldn't accept in league games. But I'm getting a, a good feeling from the players that they're ready now. They're ready to take some of our, our learning on the training ground into some game situations. 
just ask you about the fixtures as well. Is it nice to be at home on the opening day? Yeah, it was, you know, I had silent ambitions to be at home. I really did. I was I was really pleased with that. Um, wasn't really wanting uh, a, an away fixture on an Astro Turf pitch first game. You know, I, I was wanting that, that home exciting opportunity. Um, you know, yeah, our stadium, our fans work on, you know, the culmination of how we've been working with our new players, our new group in the new chapter. I really wanted that to be... Um, Topped off with a, with a home game to start. Um, I'm, I feel very fortunate that we've, uh, we've we've drawn that one. Just finally as well, one of the pre-season friendlies that we've been playing is um, away to Walsall for the Wayne Evans Memorial match. Um, just how important was it for the club to, to be able to, to do that? Along with bigger Walsall? than football, Greg. It's way bigger than football. Um, apologies to, to Bradford Park Avenue for us having to pull out of that game, but some things are more important than football. Um, Wayne's family deserve it. As soon as there was a possibility that it could happen, Wayne's family deserve it. We paid our tributes to Wayne. We spoke about him on the training ground this week, as I think we always should. We should always respect the ones that have gone before us, fans, players, important people in the club's history. We should respect them. And then the fact that it's not the league now, it's not in the middle of the campaign, we get the opportunity to do something for Wayne's family because that's what's most important. And the legacy that Wayne left in terms of playing for the club um, I think it's a brilliant gesture. So as soon as it was mentioned, the only thing we wanted to do was adjust our schedule or whatever. I, I know it's so important how we've laid it out, we've mapped each day out, but that now changes to a Friday night game instead of a Saturday. The most important thing was making sure the game could happen for Wayne's family. I think it's a lovely touch. I hope it's an amazing day in any way it can be for his family. I'm glad ourselves and, and Walsall can play the part in that. Hope lots of fans can get to that game and on that particular game, despite the fact we're all there to get what we need from the day as well, I hope we can all remember the bigger picture and it, it's a great day for, for Wayne's family.